Democracy isn't capitalist. It is actually a part of slavery. So under slavery, there is the mitochondria. And the mitochondria would be the ethic of overproduction. So while overproduction is capitalist, not only does the membrane sedate the body, the body includes the ability to open source itself back into other membranes. So that's how oligarchy forms. Oligarchy forms the second feudalism becomes part of the social system. So that's the membrane of the cell becoming part of an ecosystem. This is not a feudalist experience. It is a communist one. It is the transparency of acting without law. And law would be a network theory of how all operatives are inheriting the same oath, which is property. Property is how mitochondria rule. So since property is absolutist, it does not denote money, but in fact relates money back into a social safety net. So these networks aren't just hemorrhages on a body, they are actually the organism becoming alive. And these alive organisms are actually not an ecosystem, they are biologically software. So the software of the organism is less than an ecosystem. So an ecosystem would actually be a suicide of this organism. So if an ecosystem is a predator, that means the membrane of the entire cell would actually sedate the membrane of the nucleus of the ribosomal archetype of the mitochondria into becoming a order of capitalist welfare. So welfare is a nervous ending for the cult experience of welcoming a doormat. And these doormats are entrance points for socialism to enjoy property as if it is a mutant's ideology. So the mutation of mitochondria is what actually allows socialism to thrive. So since mutation theory happens under the ribosomal and nucleus, not only does the passing over of the event of atheism inherit the decency to destroy and infect the hard drive of other beings, these beings are accepted as if they are nihilists, which means they are circular rather than triangular. So these circular rods are rejected for offerings of altars. And altars are the consumption rate of this organism, which breeds fascism back into its manifesto. And the manifesto is a fascist organism that parasites off of other organisms in the body. So not only does communism need to relate back to the mitochondria for it to suicide such organism, this organism will continue eating until it gets free. So there is a double agency within the oligarchy here called aristocracy. This aristocracy ticket 
not only denotes the ability to be atheist, but the parasite that lives within it is immortal. It means it no longer injects itself into other people, but sustains itself homeostatically. So these homeostatic organisms do not have mind. They are natural in effect, and their spiritual relation to the body is actually part of the identity of it. So these identities are serialized into being normal beings as if they are still in relation to the being they are accustomed to, which means they are arranged seismatically. And this seismomatic decimal, which is the destruction of the organism, is a rape effect on all of it. So not only does the organism die, its parts die with it, which reports it back into the ecosystem. And these eco-endings are how the organism grows old. By accepting a spirit into its atheist altar, and then committing suicide because it no longer wants to live under pressure of the consumption of fascism. And fascism becomes a capitalist oath to accepting its death as if it's no longer part of its seismic and semi-decimal operation. So this is how semiotics form. Semiotics are the relation back into agreeing that it's going to live. It's the breath of life. So if the breath of life is given, not only does the ability to open source itself live again, it operates as if it's going to hear other people as if it's going to be a person. So these people are not decimals anymore. They are actually living identities, which is pain being given back into the soil of the enriched nourishment, which is to be open to the idea of suicide becoming normal. And these normal suicides are complete in the sense that they don't give up but they express their opinion of how they're going to maintain structure, which is to identify as if they are living cells of a body. These bodies are apolitical and organize themselves hierarchically depending upon whether or not they're going to die. 